Okay guys, so for today's video, ang topic natin para sa RME is pi circle formula. Pi circle formula. Okay, so ano ba yung pi circle formula na yan? So, sa pi circle formula, so ito yan. So, P, I, E. Where P is, is the power I is current then E is voltage. So, kaya siya tinawag na pi circle formula. Okay. So, P, I, E. Ang binasa mo, pi. Okay? So, dito sa pi circle formula na to, so, ito ay uh, mabilis yung technique kung halimbawa hindi mo memorize yung formula. So, kapag tinakpan mo yung letter P, I times E. Okay? P is equal to I times E. Power is equal to the current times the voltage. Next, pag tinakpan mo naman yung I, kung nawawala yung I, so P divided by E. Okay? So, kung nawawala naman yung E, the voltage, so P divided by I. E is equal to P divided by I. Okay. So, ito na yung mga formula. Pero kahit hindi mo isa-isahin to, lamin mo lang tong pi circle formula. So, tatakpan mo lang siya. So, makukuha mo kung ano yung formula. Kung halimbawa, I, nawawala. So, P divided by E. Okay. Kung nawawala yung P, So, takpan mo lang, I times E. No, wala yun naman yung E, P divided by I. Okay, so, madali lang siya. So, ngayon, magbibigay tayo ng mga example problems. Okay, so, ito mga, ito mga problems na ito ay mga napapasama rin sa mga board questionnaires. Okay, so, start, start natin. So, problem number one. What is the power loss What is the power loss in watts for two conductors that carry 12 ampere and have a voltage drop of 3.6 volts so mayroon siya mga choices So, sulat natin. So, A, 43 watts. B, 4.3. C, 432. Then, letter D. None of these. So, basa natin ulit. What is the power loss in watts? For two conductors that carry 12 amperes and have a voltage drop of 3.6 volts. Okay, so sa problem, so kailangan mo muna ang tingnan kung ano yung mga given. Okay? So, sulat natin yung mga given. So, given niya, meron siyang current na 12 ampere. Next given, meron siyang voltage drop 
the 3.6 volts so e is 3.6 volts so e or letter b pareho lang yun yung sabihin kasi ng e so that is electromotive pulse okay or voltage so ang nawawala dito is power so babalik tayo doon sa pi circle formula so dito nawawala yung letter p so power so takpan mo lang siya so i times e yung formula natin power is equal to i times e so substitute na natin so i is equal to 12 ampere then the voltage is 3.6 volts so the answer so calculator natin so 12 ampere on 12 ampere times 3.6 volts 12 times 3.6 so switch to decimal natin 43.2 43.2 watts so, tingnan natin sa choices 43, 4.3, 432 none of this okay so syempre sa ganyan ang pipilin may pinakamalapit so ito yan 43 watts So, ito yung pinakamalapit na sagot. So, hindi siya nag-exacto sa pamilya. So, kung ano yung pinakamalapit, yun yung sagot. Okay? Okay, so, number 2 problem. What is the current flow in ampere in the circuit conductor that supply 7.5 kilowatt heat strips rated 240 volts when connected to a 400, 240 volts power supply? So, sulat natin yung mga choices niya. Twenty-five ampere, thirty-one ampere, thirty-nine ampere. So, none of this. Okay. So, una ulit, tingnan natin kung ano yung mga given. So, meron tayong power na given, 7.5 kilowatts. Then, voltage, 240 volts. So, ang nawawala ngayon is, what is the current? So, current. So, balik ulit tayo dyan sa pi circle formula. Okay? So, kung nawawala ay, ay so, tatakpan lang natin siya So, the formula is P divided by E. I is equal to P divided by E where P is 7.5 kilowatts then E is 240 volts okay 7.5 kilowatts so convert natin into watts kailangan na convert into watts to kasi na kilowatts sya So, para maging uh, watts to, times by 1,000. So, 7.5 times 1,000. Kasi sa 1 kilowatts, merong 1,000 watts. Okay? 1 kilowatt is equal to 1,000 watts. So, sagot dito is 7,500 watts divided by 240 volts so using calculator 7500 divided by 240 is equal to 31.25 so the current flowing in the circuit is 31.25 so ang unit nya is ampere So, tingin tayo dun sa choices. So, ito yung pinakamalapit, 31. So, the answer is letter B. Okay. So, lagi natin tinatandaan. Well, kukupit ka ng ganito. So, yung kapag nakakilawat siya, uh, i-convert mo siya ng watts. Okay. By multiplying 1,000. Okay.
Okay, so itong last problem natin, so meron siyang combination ng Ohm's Law. So meron na naman tayong discussion ng Ohm's Law dun sa previous topic natin. So, <coughs> no, madali lang naman yung formula ng Ohm's Law. So pagkasamasamahin natin siya dito sa problem na to. Okay, so itong problem na to, galing to dun sa yellow book. Okay, ng RME. So, basahin natin. An electric range takes 8 kilowatts and an air conditioning unit draws 10 ampere. The lighting load is 500 watts and water pump draws 8 ampere. The main supply is 220 volts. Find the total current. Okay. So, dito, kailangan muna natin isa-isahin kasi marami siyang load. So, isa-isahin natin kung ano yung mga load niya. So, meron kang electric range. So, ang load niya is 8 kilowatts. So, ito yung total power taken. And, air conditioning unit. So, sa ACU, meron ka ng current. So, hindi na natin isusolve yan. Kasi, tinatanong ko sa rito yung total current. 10 ampere. Next, yung lighting load. Lighty, meron 500 watts. Then, water pump. Water pump. Meron kang 8 ampere. So, ang supply mo daw is 220 volts. Okay. So, analyze ulit natin. Find the total current. Ito, wala pang current. So, isusubit natin yung current nito. Ito, may current na. Ito, wala pa rin. Ito, may current na. So, dalawa na lang isusubit natin yung current. Electric range, then lighting. So, since total yung hinahanap, i-add natin lahat na makukuha natin current. So, solve mo natin yung current dito sa 8 kilowatts. Okay, so para makuha yung current dyan, meron kang power na given. So, meron ka namang supply na 220 volts. So, papasok ulit yung pi circle formula na kung saan pag tinakpan mo tong I, since nawawala yung I, P divided by E. So, para dito, I is equal to P over E. So, substitute natin. Power is 8 kilowatts. So, sabi natin, itong kilowatts na to convert natin into watts by multiplying 1,000. So, ito yung magiging 8,000 watts divided by E which is 220 volts. So, kapag dinibayit natin yan, yung magiging sagot na natin ngayon ay yung calculator 8,000 divided by 220 36.36 36.36 ampere So, ito yung current no electric range so next dito naman tayo sa current ng lighting so I I is equal to pay pa rin to kasi meron kang power meron kang voltage so I is equal to P over E where power is 500 watts divided by 220 volts so naka watts na to so diretso na yan so 500 divided by 220 is to set decimal 2.27 27 ampere. So, para makuha yung total current, so, I total is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus I4. Kasi apat yung current, uh, apat yung load natin. 
So, yung I1 is equal to 36.36 para sa metric range plus 10 ampere plus 2.27 plus 8 So, using calculator 36.36 plus 10 plus 2.27 plus 8 So, the answer is 56.3 Ampere So, ito yung total power niya Okay. So, ganun lang Kasimple mag-solve Ng Power So, given yung current Then, voltage So, I hope May tunang kayo So, at huwag nyo kalimutan I-like, share, and subscribe Okay So, i-share natin siya para Maraming pang matuto Lalo na yung mga magtitake na board examination okay so thank you guys